Tesla didn't just upgrade their factory. They just unleashed a 55,000-ton monster that makes every other automaker's production line look ancient. And once you understand what this machine can do, you'll realize the entire auto industry is already too late to stop it. Tesla didn't just scale up a casting machine. They created something the automotive world has never seen before. Step inside Giga Texas and you'll realize why engineers call this press a precision siege engine. In 2020, Tesla's first 6,000-ton press was already considered insane, consolidating 70 separate parts into a single casting. But that machine now looks like a toy compared to the 55,000-ton Colossus that clamps with nine times the force and injects molten aluminum with the intensity of an industrial-grade rocket thruster. At full power, it pushes 110 million pounds of clamping force, compressing the mold so tightly that even a microscopic air bubble doesn't stand a chance. The aluminum arrives at 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit, rushing into the die cavity under 15,000 PSI, and in those few milliseconds, Tesla has to control chaos. Older presses never manage to keep the aluminum fully liquid through complex geometries, which is why traditional castings often developed hidden weak spots, tiny imperfections that only show up years later as fatigue cracks. But this enormous machine changes the physics entirely. Tesla uses something engineers call forced fill dynamics a method that keeps the metal liquid 18% longer during injection. That extra fraction of a second means every rib, mounting point, and corner fills perfectly before solidification even begins. The result? A single massive underbody that's uniform at the molecular level, something weld-heavy chassis could never match, even with flawless fabrication. And it's not just about brute force. Tesla integrated dual-zone vacuum venting a technique borrowed from rocket turbine casting, pulling the air out of the mold at 28 inches of mercury. Older systems reached only 80% efficiency, leaving pockets of trapped gas that weaken the part by as much as 15%. This new setup drives voids down to essentially zero, creating frame structures capable of withstanding 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit heat distortion, far beyond anything stamped steel could ever survive. This is where traditional automakers fall flat. They spent decades welding pieces together. Tesla is forming entire front-to-rear structures in one shot, with 40% fewer stress points and a drastic drop in weld-related failures that once plagued early EV designs. If you've ever wondered why Tesla's next generation of vehicles will feel more solid, last longer, and stay structurally consistent through decades of driving, the answer begins right here inside this 55,000-ton monster. But even this isn't the full story, because what happens next is the part that truly terrifies legacy automakers. If Section 1 showed how the 55,000-ton Titan works, Section 2 shows why every legacy automaker is quietly panicking, because this machine doesn't just build cars differently. It rewrites the entire economics of the industry. Traditional factories rely on stamping, welding, and assembling 70 separate pieces just to build the underbody of a single car. Each piece needs its own tooling, its own supplier, and its own inspection. It's slow, expensive, and fragile. One delayed shipment can stall an entire production line. And these lines weren't built for speed. They were built for survival in a 100-year-old manufacturing system. Then Tesla walked in and replaced all of that with one machine, one mold, and one integrated casting. Where legacy companies pay $2.50 per pound for stamped steel tooling, the Gigapress slashes that to $0.75 cents per pound, instantly collapsing the cost structure that traditional OEMs have relied on for decades. Even more brutal, a stamped underbody requires 40 hours of manual labor. Tesla's cast version needs 10. That isn't a small improvement. That's a four times productivity jump, backed by Model Y production data, and it's the reason the Model 2 can hit price points competitors simply can't touch without losing billions. And the ripple effects go deeper. A welded chassis needs endless inspections, reworks, and warranty claims from structural issues that show up months later. Cast structures don't. No welds, no alignment drift, no multi-step quality control bottlenecks. Tesla eliminates entire departments that legacy plants are forced to maintain. That alone saves millions every quarter. This is also where supply chains begin to collapse, 
because stamping requires up to 50 suppliers, shipping brackets, rails, cross members, and reinforcements from all over the world. One missed shipment from Malaysia and Ford's Detroit plant sits idle. But Tesla's casting strategy reduces that list to five suppliers, all local to Giga Texas. Their freight costs dropped 25% in Q3 2025, and production became immune to disruptions that once crippled companies for months. Even materials are optimized for resilience. Legacy automakers rely on specialized steels that take months to test and certify. Tesla uses 6061 T6 aluminum, a globally available alloy that can be sourced from any qualified supplier, allowing them to pivot in under 90 days if geopolitics or tariffs hit the market. When rare earth restrictions disrupted the industry years ago, manufacturers suffered 18-month delays. Tesla, they barely break stride. Then there's durability. Welded frames begin to fatigue at 150,000 miles under real-world stress. Gigacast frames hold up at 250,000 miles, even at 7G loads. A staggering leap confirmed through updated 2025 finite element analysis. Fleet telemetry backs it too. Tesla's uptime sits at 98.7%, compared to the 92% average for competing EVs. And the labor math is even more devastating for competitors. A traditional production line takes 30 hours to fully assemble a car. Tesla does it in 10. Multiply that across 600,000 units for the Model 2, and you get a cost advantage that essentially forms a multi-year monopoly on affordable EV production. For legacy automakers to catch up, Analysts estimate they would need 200 to 300 million dollars in three to five years, time they simply don't have. This is the moment everything changes. Tesla didn't just build a bigger press, they built a manufacturing ecosystem around it. One that's faster, cheaper, stronger, and so tightly optimized that every traditional car company is now asking the same uncomfortable question. If Tesla can produce cars twice as fast, twice as strong, and thousands of dollars cheaper. How do we compete at all? And the truth gets even harsher in the next section, because the 55,000 ton Giga Press isn't just disrupting manufacturing, it's redefining the economics of the EV revolution itself. The real power of the 55,000 ton Giga Press isn't just its engineering, it's the financial earthquake that follows every time it fires. Because once you understand the economics this machine unlocks, the entire EV market starts to look completely different. For decades, automakers built their business models around slow, complicated, labor-heavy production lines, high tooling costs, massive welding departments, endless rework stations, thousands of workers maintaining a process with hundreds of potential failure points. That's why EVs have always been expensive. It wasn't the batteries alone, it was the bloated manufacturing pipeline holding everything back. Then Tesla replaced almost all of that with one integrated casting, and suddenly the math changed. A traditional chassis demands $2.3 to $3.4 million in tooling for every 100,000 units produced. The Gigapress cuts that to $1.2 million, and it does it while eliminating the entire welding infrastructure that legacy plants are stuck with. No weld robots. No alignment jigs. No post-weld inspections. No rework base. That's millions saved before the car even hits final assembly. And Tesla's advantage compounds with every cycle of the press. Older dies crack at 50,000 cycles, forcing automakers to spend months replacing tooling mid-production. Tesla's 3D printed cooling channels triple that lifespan to 150,000 cycles, reducing hotspot failures by 40 degrees Fahrenheit and slicing tooling costs from $1.5 million per set to $900,000. This isn't just efficiency, it's a systemic cost collapse that competitors simply didn't prepare for. Now apply that savings directly to the Model 2. With the 55,000 ton press, Tesla cuts $800 per vehicle, pushing the car's entry price toward $10,759, while still keeping margins above 20%. Legacy companies could cut features, lower build quality, or sell at a loss but none of those are long-term strategies. They're reactions to a company that has changed the rules of the game. Even Hyundai, one of the fastest-moving legacy automakers, is scrambling to test similar casting methods for its 2027 Ionic models, hoping to save $500 million per year. 
But every attempt to copy Tesla hits the same wall. They don't have the factory architecture, supply chain integration, or casting experience to match Tesla's pace. And while they build 30,000 ton prototypes, Tesla is already mass producing with 55,000 ton giants. Then comes the part most analysts miss, logistics. The Gigapress cuts the underbody's material usage from 1.2 tons of steel to 0.8 tons of aluminum, sourced from only five suppliers local to each Gigafactory. In Q3 2025 alone, that saved Tesla $450 million in freight. Meanwhile, legacy automakers still rely on 50 suppliers, spread across borders, ports, and vulnerable shipping lanes. One delay? Their line stops. Tesla's doesn't. This is why Tesla's upcoming Model 2 isn't just cheaper. It's strategically insulated from global supply chain shocks. While the industry braces for rising steel prices, changing tariffs, and unpredictable geopolitical shifts, Tesla can pivot suppliers in under 90 days. Others take a year or more. And this economic shift does something far more significant than lowering prices. It creates a gap in scalability that may define the next decade of EV competition. Tesla can scale faster, cheaper, and more reliably than any automaker in the world. And every month that legacy companies delay, that gap grows wider. But here's where things get even more disruptive. Because the financial advantage of the 55,000-ton press doesn't stop at the factory. It extends all the way to ownership, maintenance, repairs, long-term durability, and the results flip the entire automotive repair industry on its head. When Tesla first proposed building entire vehicle structures in just a few gigantic cast pieces, most traditional automakers didn't take it seriously. They saw it as too risky, too radical, and too different from how cars had been built for nearly a century. But today, that risky idea has become one of Tesla's most powerful competitive weapons, and Section 4 reveals exactly how. The breakthrough wasn't just the size of the Gigapress. It was the strategy behind it. Designing the car around the machine, not the machine around the car. While legacy companies spend years debating model redesigns, Tesla built its engineering pipeline backwards. They started with the manufacturing dream, a car made in as few parts as possible, and forced everything else to align. That meant reorganizing teams, rewriting production standards, and even changing how factories were laid out. This is also where Tesla's fail fast, fix faster culture became a massive advantage. Most automakers work with huge supplier chains, locked contracts, and long approvals. Changing something as small as a bracket can take months. Tesla, they can update designs overnight because they control the entire ecosystem, tooling, software, engineering, and even the metal alloys. And speaking of alloys, Tesla's custom aluminum formula, engineered for fast flow, high strength, and extreme thermal stability, gave them capabilities no one else had. Other companies tried to copy the idea using off-the-shelf materials, and the results were failures, cracks, warping, and unacceptable tolerances. Tesla's metallurgical research team quietly solved problems that competitors didn't even realize existed until they hit them. Then came the biggest shift. Integrating robotics, AI vision, and real-time quality monitoring directly into the casting line. This is where Tesla quietly pulled ahead by years. Cameras detect micro-defects in milliseconds. AI predicts failure points before they ever happen. Robots adjust injection pressure, timing, and cooling patterns in real time. What used to require entire teams of inspectors happens automatically at machine speed. The result? Lower cost per vehicle, faster production cycles, higher structural strength, fewer assembly steps, fewer potential points of failure, and design freedom that traditional stamping methods simply can't match. While legacy automakers are still debating whether to commit to integrated castings, Tesla is already on generation 3 of both hardware and software. They are scaling, optimizing, and accelerating while everyone else is still planning. This section exposes one critical truth. The Gigapress didn't just change how Tesla builds cars. It changed what Tesla is capable of building. The rise of Tesla's 55,000-ton Gigapress is not just a manufacturing upgrade. It's a turning point in industrial history. What we're witnessing right now is the moment an entire century of automotive tradition gets rewritten by a company willing to challenge every rule, every assumption, 
and every. This is how it's always been done. While legacy automakers continue fighting with supply chains, outdated tools, and layers of bureaucracy, Tesla is building the future at machine speed. The Gigapress isn't just about big metal parts. It's about a new philosophy. Simplify everything. Automate everything. Push the limits of what a factory can be. And that's why the gap keeps getting wider. A process that once took hundreds of stamped parts, 3,000 welds, and weeks of human labor, now happens in seconds with one massive injection of molten aluminum. This is why Wall Street, engineers, and even Tesla's harshest critics all agree on one thing. This machine is the competitive advantage nobody can copy fast enough. And with the upcoming Model 2, the $25,000 electric car aimed at mass adoption, Tesla is preparing to unleash the full power of this technology. Faster production, stronger safety, lower cost, and factories that look more like giant 3D printers than assembly lines. The Giga Press isn't the end of the story. It's the beginning of Tesla's next era, one where manufacturing becomes the company's greatest product. Because in the future, the most valuable innovation won't be batteries, software, or even AI. It will be the ability to build better, faster, and cheaper than anyone else. And right now, only one company is doing that. And they're doing it at 55,000 tons of force.